Welcome back to part two guys. In this video, we're gonna start texturing our vehicle. So let's first go into the cycles render here at the top right. And then we want to toggle off the floor and the XY plane so it's less distracting. So hit this drop down, let's uncheck floor and XY plane. Now we can hit shift A to import a plane so we can have something to catch the shadows and reflectivity. So let's hit S so we can upscale this. And we're just gonna move this right underneath the vehicle by pressing G for grab and pressing Z to move this up and down. We want to right underneath the tires. And once we're satisfied with the floor's positioning, we can move on to adjusting the lights. So let's go to the top right corner of the scene collection and let's just select light. Then we're gonna go down to the object data property, which is the light icon. And we're gonna change it from a point light to an area light. And also let's change the power from 1000, which is a bit harsh to something lower to 204.6. And let's adjust the color from white to blue. So it gives it a blue lit dim. So it appears to be nighttime. Now let's select the vehicle and hit tab to enter edit mode. And let's go down to material properties. And then let's change the base color from white to a lot darker. So maybe around dark gray. And then we can go down to the roughness to dial that down to give it a bit more reflectivity. Now we need to go up to the top and assign this to the main body. Now we can hit the plus sign to add another material and then hit new. Now we can choose another base color. And the base color we want to choose is something closer to white, so an off white or light gray. And once you're satisfied, you can change the selection from edge mode to face selection by going to the top left and selecting the face icon or pressing the number three on the keyboard. Now we're gonna select all the faces that make up this middle area on the vehicle. So just being sure you select all the cracks and framework of the cab here. An easy to miss spot is the top area. So once you ensure you selected this, do a quick walk around of the vehicle to ensure it's all selected. Then go back to the right side and we can just assign this. So ensure you select the right color and then go to assign. And once that's done, you can press tab to go back to object mode and you can get a quick look at this, how it looks all together so far. And once you're satisfied, we can move forward. So reselect the vehicle, hit tab to enter edit mode and let's select all the faces that make up the windows. Now we can go to the right, hit the plus sign, then hit that new button. Now we can add a new base color and let's choose a dark blue. So bring this down and we also need to change the opacity after we assign this. So hit tab so you can see, it looks nice. Back in edit mode, we're gonna choose that material and let's go down to the alpha and let's just dial this down to something closer to 0 0.83. And that gives it a nice transparency and let's up the transmission as well. So we can do 0 0.2. Now let's just change the renderer from EV to cycles since that's what we're gonna actually be rendering in in the end. So now you can see the result is transparent glass. So if you want, you can play around with the roughness as well. This looks good. Now let's move forward. Let's change it back from cycles to EV so we can get a, a lot smoother transition when we're working. Now reselect the vehicle in edit mode. Let's just select the front two faces that make up the lights. Now we're gonna go back to the properties for the materials and let's hit the plus sign then hit new. Now let's change the base color to an orange or yellow light. Let's go down to mission and change this to the same thing to make it really bright. And we need to assign this. So let's go back up to the top, hit assign. And one thing we need to do is change the name so we can double click to change the name of these. So we have some organization. So I'll change this to headlights, change this blue to windows, white to, you know, the mid section and then the black for the front and rear. Now we can hit tab to exit edit mode and enter object mode and select the light, hit tab and enter edit mode. Now with face selection active, we can choose the rest of the frame faces that make up the light case. So we just go around and double click the edges to select rings. Once satisfied, we can go to the material properties, hit new, go to base color and change it to a darker gray. And then we can also play around with some of the other settings like the roughness and metallic. Give it more, you know, break up. And hit assign once complete. Now reselect all four faces here 
on the light and we can change this to a new color. So let's go to plus sign, hit new, and let's change the base color to a blue. Go down to alpha and we want it to be transparent as well. So make it darker blue, assign this. And don't forget to work on the naming convention as we work. So double click this and let's change it to something closer to blue lights and change this gray material to maybe gray base. Now we can move forward to selecting the other faces that make up the red light that we're going to be materializing soon. And once you're satisfied, you know what to do. Hit that famous plus sign, and then we're going to hit the new button. And let's change the base color to a red, a darker red. Go down to uh, alpha, and we're going to make it transparent as well. And let's add some tr transmission to it, and then assign it. Change this to red light. Once satisfied, we can hit tab to exit out of edit mode and enter object mode. What I want to now do is go back to the render and change it from EV to cycle so we can get a good preview of how it's looking so far. Now let's hit shift A and let's bring in a light. And I'm going to bring in a point light and I'm going to position the point light to fit inside the red casing light on top of the vehicle. Now we need to change the color. So go to the object data properties for the lights and let's change the color to a red color. Once satisfied, we can change the power from 10 watts to something closer to 44. Then we can hit Shift D to duplicate that and drag this over to the blue casing. And let's change the light from red to blue. And quickly, you can see we have that effect that the lights on the vehicle are actually working. So now let's change the name of this light so we can have some organization. So the blue light will be blue light, and this point light here will be changed to red light. And this is looking great so far. We're making great progress. Now let's worry about the headlights. So let's hit Shift A to import a spotlight. And this spotlight will be the headlight. So let's just reposition this. And let's also work on the rotation to about maybe a 45 degree angle pointing outwards. Let's change the power from 10 to maybe around 90, somewhere around there. Change the color to an orange. And once we're satisfied, we can hit Shift D to duplicate this and slide it over to be the other headlight. Now, before we get moving, working on the tires, I do want to select the ground plane and rescale it to be a lot bigger so we get a lot more light casting on. Now, let's go back to the renderer so we can change it back from cycles to EV so we can get a lot smoother, um, you know, working viewport. So let's select the tires here and let's add a material. So let's go to material properties. Let's go to new. Let's change it to be a darker gray color. And assign that. Let's change the name to tires. Hit the plus sign. Let's add a new material. And this new material will be a lot lighter than that color. So we'll choose the base color, go up to a light gray, and then change the name to maybe rims. Now let's choose face selection. Let's start selecting all the faces that make up the rims. Don't forget to double click on the edges to select a ring around it. And once you have them all selected, we can now press assign. Once we select our material and assign it to the rims. Now let's hit tab to exit out of edit mode. Select our plane, hit tab to enter edit mode, select the edge and hit control R to add the edge loop, middle mouse scroll to add multiple. Now let's left click to you know confirm that. And we can go to scale and we can just scale these outwards to um, be better positioned for the sidewalks. Now we can switch from edge mode to face selection, select these two outer faces, and then hit E to extrude upwards. Now that that's done, we can select the middle face here, go to material properties, hit new, and let's add a base color of dark gray for the street. Let's change the roughness to be a lot more reflective. Let's hit assign. Now that we're satisfied with that, let's select this top face here, this top face, the side face, and the opposite side face. And let's go to the plus sign, hit new, and let's add a new base color for this. And we'll choose a lot lighter color to be for the sidewalk. And assign that. Now, if you like, you can rename these. So this will be sidewalk, and this will be street. Now let's hit tab to go back to object mode, and we can hit shift A to append a cube. Then we'll just reposition and scale this to be our first uh, road marking, which are like the yellow little rectangles. Then we can reposition this and hit Shift D to duplicate. And then position this where you like it. 
Once satisfied, we can hold both of these, hit Shift D to duplicate this for the two in the back. Once satisfied, we can then Shift select all four of these and then press Control J to combine. Now we can go to Material Properties after reposition this if you like, and then go to New and let's add a base color to be like an orangish yellow color. Now after we're done, we can hit Shift A to append a new cube to the scene. And this cube will act as a sidewalk um, block. So let's just reposition this to be over here. And then we can enter edit mode, select the bottom face, and then you know drag it up so it's not hanging so far down. Now back in object mode, what I like to do is go to add a color to it. So go to material properties, go to new. Let's change the base color to be a lot darker gray than the original area. Then we can go to the modifier tab. We can add an array modifier. Let's go to where it says, you know, factor X, change that from one to zero, then change the Y to space it out. And then we can just change the count from here. Now once satisfied, we can add another modifier, which is the mirror modifier. And then we can use the eyedrop tool to select the vehicle, which will mirror it on the opposite end. Now we can hit the drop down and apply both of the mirror and the array. Now let's change the renderer from EV back to cycles. And we're basically done from here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this series so far. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up, like, share, and comment for more. I'll catch you guys in the next one.